uh, in the last lecture, we asked ourselves a question uh, that uh, if f is Riemann integrable, then what we have seen as the Percival formula summation over mod of f hat of n square n varies over z is finite. Now, and moreover norm of f of 2 square this is equal to mod of f hat of n square. Now, one can uh, we asked that if let a n is a sequence such that this is finite. Does this imply there exists an f which is Riemann integrable? such that f hat at n, this is equal to a n. So, this is a natural question. In fact, the un consider a n, this is equal to 1 by n, if n is greater or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise. Clearly, summation over n a n square which is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square and this is finite. So, if this is true that there exist a Riemann integrable function whose Fourier coefficient is a n. So, corresponding to this a n, there will exist a Riemann integrable function. Let us assume there exists a f such that f hat of n, this is equal to 1 by n, n greater or equal to 1, 0 otherwise. So, now f being Riemann integrable function, f is bounded and so what we have noticed earlier a r f at x, which is equal to f convolution with the Poisson kernel uh, is a bounded function. Therefore, this then mod of f convolution of p r of x, this is lesser equal to 1 by 2 pi minus pi to pi mod of f of x minus of y p r of y d y. And we know that we know that this is this is a positive function Poisson kernel and uh, this uh, integral of p r of y d y is equal to 1. 1 by 2 pi uh, times the integral minus pi 2 pi is 1. So, I can pull out the supremum over x mod of f of x and then this is 1 by 2 pi minus pi 2 pi p r of y d y and which is equal to 1. So, this is uh, this is less than equal to some constant m for all x. So, this is a bounded function. 
However, let us recall what is how this f convolution of p r of x will look like. This is going to be n varies over z f hat at n r to the power mod n e to the power i n x. Now, f hat vanishes for all uh, non positive uh, integer. Therefore, this is equal to n equal to 1 to infinity r to the power mod n or rather now this is n is positive. So, r to the power n by n e to the power i n x. And uh, so, this says that this is mod of, so this quantity summation over n from 1 to infinity, this is p r x. So, this is bounded uniformly over r for all r. Therefore, thus at x equal to 0, summation over n equal to 1 to infinity r to the power n by n uniformly bounded. Therefore, limit r goes to 1 if we look at then this is going to be a finite quantity the limb left hand limit because this is uniformly bounded. However, limit r goes to 1 minus summation over n equal to 1 to infinity r to the power n by n this is infinity is unbounded. which is a contradiction. So, therefore, what we observe that there may not exist. So, the conclusion is there may not exist an f such that f hat of n is equal to a n. So, if we restrict ourselves to the space of Riemann integrable functions, then we may not get a f such that f at of n is equal to a n for any given a n who such that it is square summable. So, obviously, one would naturally like to ask that uh, for what kind of function one can always guarantee that if someone gives us a square summable sequence, then we can produce a f such that f hat of n is equal to a n. So, that can be answered, but that requires more sophistication and more knowledge about uh, other aspects like Lebesgue measure. So, for us it may not be the map if we are looking at the Fourier transform is a map from r minus pi to pi we this goes to L 2 where L 2 is the set of all sequences such that summation over mod of x n square is finite. So, this map is not an on two map that is what we have observed ok so now let's uh, discuss some aspects of the point wise convergence we have shown that uh, the fourier uh, partial sum of the fourier series converges to f in the square mean and we have also seen is that if f is twice differentiable then uh, the Fourier series converges uh, because f at of n is 1 of lesser equal to some constant times 1 over n square 
and therefore it is absolutely summable. Now also as an application uh, of this Percival identity, we have seen that if f if f is in c 1 of minus pi to pi, then converges. So, Cauchy's Schwarz inequality and the Percival identity uh, we have. So, now what about if f is continuous at a point? That is what one would like to ask some satisfactory uh, result. So, first, so now we will now discuss about the point wise convergence. S and F x. So, now in order to look at uh, the point wise convergence, let us have a look at more closely, let us look at uh, what is the meaning of this point wise convergence mean. Suppose, suppose it converges to some complex number alpha then I will write S n f of x minus of alpha. This is equal to, we know that this is f convolution of d n of x minus of alpha. So, this we can write that 1 by 2 pi minus pi to pi f of x minus of y d n of y d y minus of alpha. So, this minus of alpha we can write this as alpha by 2 pi minus pi to pi d n of y d y, because we know that the integral of d n of y d y is equal to 1. Now, also, we know that d n is an even function in the interval minus pi to pi. So, therefore, this I make a change, I will do it as minus pi to pi 0 plus 0 to pi f of x minus of y d n of y d y minus this is alpha times uh, 1 over pi 0 to pi d n of y d y, because this is an even function. So, now in this first integral, in the first integral if I make a change of variable to x y going to minus of y. So, what we are going to get with simply this is 2 pi 0 to pi f of x plus y and then this is f of x minus of y because d n y is d n minus of y. Therefore, this is this minus alpha by pi 0 to pi d n of y d y. This in the compact form if I take the 2 pi. So, now if alpha is equal to f of x, then this is 0 to pi f of x plus y plus f of x minus of y and then 1 by 2 pi if I am taking it out, then this will be 2 alpha which means minus 2 of f x d n of y d y. So, essentially what one would like to show is that this integral has to go to 0 in order to get S n f x minus of f x goes to 0. So, we would concentrate on 
this integral that is the crux of the thing. So, this is what we would like to see. Okay. Now, suppose f is identically equal to 0 on some a b which is contained in minus pi to pi. Let x belongs to a b. Then there exists a delta greater than 0 such that x minus delta x plus delta this is going to be contained in a b. Here is our a, here is our b, wherever our x is. Suppose this is x, then I can find a delta such that x minus of delta x plus delta. This is entirely contained inside a b. So, now if if mod y is less than delta, as you can see here in this integral f of uh, x plus y is going to lie between belongs to a b and x minus of y also belongs to a b and x is in a b. So, this entire in f of x plus y plus or minus of y is equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 0. So, this integral let us call it as i n, then our i n becomes 1 by 2 pi, then this is delta 2 pi f of x plus y plus f of x minus of y f of x is 0, this is sin n plus 1 half of y by sin y by 2 dy. Now, as you can see that uh, on the in interval 0 to pi, this is delta, this is pi. So, now what we can do is that y by 2 is a strictly a positive number because y by 2 is going to lie between 0 to pi by 2 and y is bigger than delta. So, this is going to be delta 2 somewhere with the pi by 2. So, here the sign will have no problem, no issue, no 0. So, therefore, this quantity is a Riemann integrable function that along with the indicator function of minus pi to minus delta to pi, this is going to be an in Riemann integrable function. So, by Riemann Lebesgue lemma, I n converges to 0 and that is 0 is nothing but f of x. So, therefore, if f is vanishing in an interval, then what we are going to get that at every point the s and f converges to 0. So, let us just rewrite this in a proper form in the, so we have what we have get, let us write down proposition. let f is identically equal to 0 on some a b which is contained in minus pi to pi that is our assumption. Then s n f of x converges to 0 for all x belongs to some c d uniformly where C D any sub interval which is contained in A B. 
So, this is what we had proved. Hence, we have proved. So, now if it is vanishing on an interval, then at every point this is going to be 0. So, now one would like to ask that what happens if f is just continuous at one point. So, how we are going to deal with that kind of uh, uh, what should be the condition in which one can get suppose f is just continuous then whether the question is snf converges to f of x for all x. The answer in fact is no, but this is a very, very hard problem in analysis and which baffle uh, more than 200 years uh, all the mathematician brilliant mind to answer this. Nevertheless, let us see, let us try to understand that what exactly we are asking and how the S and F is going to be. Now, if F is a continuous function, we know that F n convolution of F of x converges to F of x uniformly where f n is the fair kernel now this fair kernel also has the support of minus n to n and f recall f hat of n this is equal to 1 minus mod n by n if mod n is lesser equal to n and 0 otherwise. Now, f n suppose this is minus of n to n. So, this is uh, something like this goes like this, this is how it is going to look like on the, the map with f n hat. So, however, the s now if I look at f n convolution of f minus of s n of f. Now, this is what is going to happen. So, this is what if I if I show that ok. So, this thing is controlled then I can get that because f n of f converges to f if this entire thing then I can get that this s n f goes to f. Okay. If this goes to 0 then I know that s n f converges to f. Now, in this minus n to n how does the s n f hat is going to look this is f hat of n here f n convolve with f hat is nothing but this function multiplied by f hat of n. So, in other words in minus n to n this s n is essentially it is like just the constant function 1, but this is so this is what the difficulty is that suppose now make a wishful thinking that if we can get a good kernel which is going to take the value of 1 on minus n to n, then s n is supported on minus n to n. So, that will get cancelled. So, we are, we are only going to get the rest of the thing which is going to be contributed by the kernel. This we had seen earlier which is called the uh, Delavalle-Posen kernel. 
So, this what we have defined is that the V n this is 2 times f 2 n minus of f n. Now, uh, this is capital N. So, now if I look at the V n hat at n. Now, if mod n is lesser equal to n, then this is equal to 2 times 1 minus mod n by 2 n minus 1 minus mod n by n and which is equal to if mod n is greater than n lesser equal to 2 n then this f n hat is going to be 0. So, therefore, this is nothing but 2 times 1 minus mod n by 2 n and 0 otherwise. Now, bit that is if mod n is lesser equal to n this going to be 2 minus mod n by n minus 1 plus mod n by n which is equal to 1. So, this the Fourier transform is going to look like minus n to n 2 n minus 2 n. So, now this is this and so now if I look at V n f which is equal to V n convolution of uh, rather I will write V n convolution of f minus of s n of f. This is going to only survive mod n greater than n lesser equal to 2 n and then this is V n hat we know precisely what is V n hat 2 times 1 minus mod n by 2 n f hat of n e to the power i n x. This is what is our. So, now if we know that this V n convolution of f which is a good kernel because fair kernel is a good kernel. So, V n convolution of f is equal to twice 2 a convolution of f minus f n convolution of f. So, f is a continuous function. So, this converges to 2 f, this converges to f. So, now this converges to f. So, now, now if we can show that this tail of this is less than epsilon for large n, then we can get actually the S n f um, uh, v n convolved with the f minus of S n f that converges. However, f is very arbitrary. So, we do not know exactly that we do not know anything about the decay of f at what we have mentioned that f Riemann Lebesgue lemma is the best possible decay we can get and it never talks about the order in which f at is going to 0. So, that creates a problem and this suggests us that we must try this problem by giving some more decay in f hat which will the next thing what we will try to do. Thank you. Thank you.